Hey everyone, welcome to this video. You know I'm a big fan of these Windows 11 wallpapers and so I always do these videos how to recreate them and now with Cinema 4D 2023 we have even more options how to do them and it's really fast now. So we're gonna stack cloths and then we're just gonna use Sphere as a collider and we're gonna shape our own, you know, uh, structure. Hey guys, welcome back to volume four Windows background. So uh, if you see in my previous videos, I always try to achieve uh, these types of uh, wallpapers. I think it's uh, it was done by, yeah, sorry, it was done by six and five, six and five uh, studio. Amazing, Joe, definitely check them out. They have ridiculous stuff. This is the new way I've tried to uh, recreate these and the way it's done is basically because now we have in Cinema 40 2023, we have this advanced cloud system and I'm sure you can do it with S26 too. And we also have SSS random walk in our materials now. So this allows us to do that kind of nice material where we kind of shoot light through, through all these stacks of sheets i would say i was basically playing with the different different ways how to recreate this and currently i'm using like um i'm using like field force with random field and then i'm also using this sphere which uh kind of blocks those sheets going from all all to the ground straight away and this way we can achieve uh, you know effects effects like these so if you if you wait for the ipr to so this is i think this is already some kind of nice uh some kind of nice wallpaper would you say so okay let's let's have a look how to do that so if we start a new project here I'm just gonna turn this one completely off and we're gonna start by plane and we press ND just to have a look, you know, how many, how many segments we have. So I'm just going to go, uh, actually, I'm just going to go 300 width and then 100 only, or maybe even 80 and then reduce the segments on yeah so like 30 30 by 5 and then we're going to create stack of that so i'm just going to highlight a plane hold alt and click on a cloner which will uh become parent of the plane and then i'll um, put the linear uh linear mode which i'm going to change to endpoint so if I would be stacking it, it would just go up. But if I change it to endpoint, then it will be stacking in the middle uh, between the first and last one, which is uh, much better. So I create that stack. And so if I look at it from the top, then I can, you know, play with stuff like this. And I also wanted to see if I can, for example, put that uh, plane into the band. So I hold shift, click on a band. And then just create these. Uh, if I fit it, this is very strange, but it's a nice. Uh, if I go to that cloner, we get even further apart. And then we can uh, put simulation tag cloth on a cloner, right? And we can bring in sphere, just like here. Oh no, here, sphere, make it smaller, just by T, scale it down, and then apply simulation collider to it. And I'm going to turn off the IPR just so we can simulate quickly. Okay, so these are probably clashing, and but I can now create stuff like this, right? So I can do this. Um, I'm going to probably set some cloth setting that it's much heavier. 
So let's do mass like 50. That's, I don't know how much this will affect, but we can do like this. Okay, so I'll bring it a little bit up, just so here. Uh, highlight the cloner, bring it up, and just so I can take it down again. And now I press play. Right? If I have stuff like that, so this is something where you want to go. But then uh, in Redshift, we want to create, if I go standard material, and I'm just going to apply this to the cloner, then I can go and let's show node editor. And I can bring in ramp. What was that? And put it into subsurface. Okay, and then we can go subsurface and do the weight. So we have something like that. And for the subsurface, it's always better to go more uh, less saturated colors. Uh, you get much better results with, um, with that, actually. So if I go just like that, if I go completely just purple and pink here, and then for the scene, I'm just going to create quickly a new standard, apply it to the scene. Just so I have background, just going to subtle ping. It's going to take it from here. Okay, I won't. <laughs> okay. So we're slowly getting there. And now I'm just going to need to come up with some interesting shape and good lighting so if i go to that light i have a dome light here as a default and i'm just gonna rotate it around until i get some kind of nice all right so if i just zoom out of that i think that's quite nice i'm gonna also click on that sphere and make it invisible inside the renderer just so i'm gonna use it only as a um as a driving element for those sheets and then we're gonna bring in intensity on that dome light and we slowly getting where we want to be i, I want to be uh, driving that material a little bit more and so i'm gonna go to the subsurface and okay and we'll start again so i'm just gonna keep this uh off for now and I'm going to try to come up with much better. So I'm going to increase that length of that plane. And I'm trying to bend it in a different way. So this is this is different bend. And okay, I like this. So bend from here. I'm also going to change this view to final 16 by 9. So I want to be using it as a wallpaper. So I'm just going to drive my camera something like this and take this and press play. And now I affect it. I'm just going to leave them here, put the 400 frames just so it runs. That's really cool. Now it's not enough segments, so I'm just gonna increase the segments uh, for um, for width, and also bring in our redshift object tag and bring in tessellation in render, so we don't have to make it uh, subdivided here, but we can do it inside the render, and then we grab this. I'm in the sphere 
if ever. And a pause. Right, and then we can just always check these how they came out. And I think it, it works as a nice abstract art for us. So <laughs> this one's quite crazy, but if we just kind of highlight all the all this part where we can see like a cool motion, then this will give us some nice result immediately. And I can render this out as a 4K wallpaper, and I think it would uh, work out quite nice. And it's all about just playing with the, with the settings to get the right result. Let's try it. one more. Now you see the problem here, it's uh, most likely gonna be the light. So if I just turn around, bring it a little bit up and get those reflections going. And also this is something that, that we definitely want. You can look at that background as well and you can remove those reflections from there. And that's it. That's where I like it. So yes, if you want to download the project file, it's on Gumroad. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. We're going to do these wallpapers for next hundred years.